Hello, everyone. We are really excited to bring you this episode of the We Are CCA podcast. This episode is another uh, two-part episode that we're doing. This one is is focused around the new Edio Learning Management System. Um, we're going to be talking with the uh, design company who is creating this program, and we're also going to be talking to the learning department as well. Uh, the first part of this is going to be uh, us talking to representatives from And Culture, which is the company that is developing the EDIO program and have worked really, really hard to uh, work with families and our staff to make this a very usable program uh, for our families and our and our staff. We're, we're very excited to bring you this episode of the podcast. We look forward to, to all your feedback uh, about EDIO and, and some of the things that you're going to see. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on with the podcast. Thank you so much for joining us with this episode of the We Are CCA podcast. My name is Alan Fernandez, and I'm joined by my co-host, Jake Ramsey. Hello, everybody. And again, thank you so much for tuning in with us on this episode. This is a very special episode, one we've been looking forward to for a while now. We are joined by two very special guests, and I will actually allow themselves to introduce themselves, and we'll get this started. Awesome. I'm Dave Hickethier. I'm the founder and CEO of Ant Culture. And my name is Evan Keller. I'm the chief experience architect here at Ann Culture. So we are actually at Ann Culture's offices here in downtown Harrisburg. And uh, on behalf of CCA, thank you so much for allowing us to come down here and do this with you guys. We are really excited to have a chat with you guys today. Absolutely. The the room that we're in, uh, that we're doing this podcast in, is kind of uh, interesting because it is filled wall to wall with sticky notes. And on the sticky notes are all of the feedback and input that you guys have collected over, I don't know, the last couple of years probably um, on, and, and this is the information that you're using, that you use to develop the EDIO program that we're, we're going to roll out for our families next year. So um, I think it's kind of cool that we're actually doing it in the room where maybe some of it kind of gave birth. So it's kind of, it's kind of neat. Um, can you talk a little bit about Ant Culture and kind of who you got, who you are and what you do? Yeah, sure. So uh, Ant Culture is a 20 year old experienced design firm. Um, we actually uh, really spent the first decade, for the most part, working in the Bay Area for uh, many funded startups out there. Um, and over the last 10 years, uh, we kind of evolved a bit to focus a bit more in areas that we thought were really near and dear to our hearts, more important. Uh, and those two categories are healthcare and education. Uh, we just felt like we could make a, a bigger difference in those two markets than some of the consumer-based work we were doing out in San Francisco. Um, so we're a 50-person firm at this point, uh, broken down into three departments. We have our RxD team, which is our research and experience design group. Uh, they're the ones that delivered the inception uh, that we went through at the very beginning of the EDIO project. Uh, and I can talk a little bit more about that in a bit here. Uh, and then the second department is our UI and UX team. They focus on the design of solutions. And then our software engineering team does the actual build process. Listeners, if you could just come to the office, it is absolutely a, it, it, just a gorgeous facility. Um, so could you describe a bit about how Ann Culture and CCA came to meet in the crossroads? Sort of what was your uh, first interactions with CCA and kind of how, what were the steps that led to us collaborating to launch this really exciting new uh, LMS for our families? Yeah, sure. Yeah, so we actually uh, we started with uh, the website for CCA and had our first uh, kind of interactions with CCA oriented around uh, pulling together the external communication as it related to uh, what's on the website on that front. And um, over the course of the process working with the website, we uh, had a chance to kind of uh, get a, uh, an inside view of what was going on at, at CCA as it related to the, the vision of the organization and where it was trying to drive education and really just kind of fell in love with the school, to be honest. Um, so when the opportunity came up to look at uh, building a, uh, a learning management system from scratch to look at how we could uh, change the face of how education is delivered, that was just something that got the entire team at Anculture really, really excited. Um, so yeah, that's uh, it started with the website and we kind of continued down the path of learning about the school enough to 
uh, tackle the uh, what we're calling the relationship management system, not a learning management system. I think that's I think that's a, an interesting component. I've heard uh, Reese kind of mention that that it's a relationship management system. Mm-hmm. I do want to get into you know kind of the ins and outs of that and, mm-hmm. and why kind of that is the way that it's being kind of uh, promoted. Mm-hmm. Um, but could you talk to us about the process or, or the, the the stakeholders that you had discussions with about you know what this EDIO program should how it should function and, and and how the users will interact with it from a teacher perspective as well as you know students and their their families as well yeah absolutely one of the things we say a lot in our industry is that people like progress but they don't really like change and especially if they're not part of that change and one thing we've learned is that if we go away, close the doors, and design some software, we're pretty much guaranteed to get it wrong. So our process started entirely in the living rooms and kitchens and family rooms of CCA families. We looked at how they, quote, did school and what worked for them and what didn't, what features may have existed that they loved and which ones they didn't have that they really needed. And that was the formative part of this entire process was understanding at a deep level the needs of families. And then we did the same thing with teachers and we looked at the educators and they're very aware of the best of breed options that exist in the market and we wanted to incorporate all of those. And so that research phase that we start with really sets the tone for the whole rest of the project to make sure that everything we're doing is answering the needs that users have to make their lives easier, faster, better, all the things that you would hope for. Through the, co- through the course of those conversations, um, what are some of the things that families ask for? That, that you guys have then now made made happen with the new EDIO program? Absolutely. So some of what we observed was just a, a lot of learned, you have to learn a lot of things to be able to, you know, go to school, um, find your work, find where to look for the work, you know, have communication back and forth. There was just a lot of, we found even experts, some of the folks that we interviewed, some of the families, there was almost a currency, the folks that had learned all the tricks to do it well. And so we want to remove some of those barriers. We want to take away some of the tricks and the hoops you have to jump through and just make it easier and more fun to do the the different tasks that you need to do. So those are some of the things that we immediately identified were just some of the loopholes and some of the things that families had to go through that we could easily streamline and make it a whole lot easier. What are some of those features that, what do you, what do you guys call them in the NDO program? Absolutely. So there's things like the calendar that easily provide different folks uh, a view of what they need to do that day or, or what, you know, where they are. Um, lots of status indicators that show you how you're doing, where you might, you know, where, where something, you know, you may need to pick up or something you need to pay attention to. Easy access to be able to communicate with people, um, you know, one click, not have to click around five or six times to find somebody to, to chat with or send a message to, that type of thing. It's a lot of just the data day stuff and then in addition to that the ability to you know when you open up schoolwork and you go through that just all the features that families had you know really looked for whether whether it comes to pacing um, options for specific uh, students and courses um, teachers having more tools to be able to connect with the students uh, there's there was a lot I mean as you mentioned you're in a room with over a thousand post-it notes and that's just some of the feedback that we gathered so, in, I'm sorry, no, I was just going to tag on that. I think there's uh, there's a uh, an entire book that was actually pulled together. Uh, you know, we keep 3M in business with the post-it notes here, but uh, I think in addition, uh, all the feedback that we collected in the beginning inception process is actually captured in a book that uh, really becomes kind of the foundational layer uh, that we refer back to on a regular basis as we look at uh, building and designing an experience. Uh, such as EDIO. And so um, I think when you look at the actual features that, that make up EDIO, uh, all of that has come from, again, as I've described, the living rooms and kitchens and uh, meeting with the teachers and educators and administrators. Um, one thing I'll call out in particular on a feature side is a dashboard, which is, uh, again, going to kind of make everything front and center and handy for the parent uh, and for the student and for the educator. So what's pulled into that dashboard is, uh, again, a quick kind of panel that will let you see all of the relevant relevant and important things for you in that moment, uh, whether that be that day or that week or that month, give you views that let you uh, really dive deep on that front. So in this process of looking into what new features could be added or what Mm. features maybe the the previous system uh, didn't have or wasn't able to have, how important was it to look at concerns that families would have? I mean, Mm. it's a relatively large change for a lot of families who've been with us for some time now. 
Um, so how important was it to listen for concerns from the family, say, can I still do this? This mm -hmm. has been helpful mm -hmm. for my family in being a part of the CCA family. You know, what, what sort of, uh, what was that feedback like in hearing that, whether it be from the parents and families themselves or maybe from teachers that you've been engaging with in this entire process? Yeah, certainly. <clears throat> so you don't want to, you want to take all of the best right and then you want to build on top of that so there's a number of things that work really well people like the flexibility they like some of the tools that allow them to go at their own pace um, all of that type of thing you know the ability to communicate um, with their teachers and with staff and have access to folks all of that stuff not only do we keep but we hopefully enhanced and made it even easier and faster and better uh, to be able to have the the best parts of it um, and then again as we sort of already talked about looking to make the parts that where there's friction go away so that it's even easier to um, you know, access the work you need to do or move from, from course to, to course or, or subject work or, you know, what things are automatic that could we do, right? So if you've ever had to call in to a call center or something like that and you give them all your information and then you get handed to the next person, they ask you for all the same information again. We don't want any situations like that where when you're logged in, we should know you. We should, it should be personalized. You, we should know what you need to do next. And we should you know, prime all of that and make it ready for you so that it's easier and faster and you don't have to dig for stuff. If, if you talk to a lot of our families, and, and we have this conversation constantly with, with new families, is you know, communication is, is the apex of what drives our, our student success. Uh, I can tell you from years working in guidance, the more consistent communication teachers have with students and students have with teachers, the, m the more successful you will see those students uh, become overall. Anytime you had a struggling student, nine times out of ten you could look at the communication logs and it would be very inconsistent. What are some of the features that you have integrated into the EDIO program that will uh, enhance the ability for students and teachers to communicate in a more seamless uh, manner? One of the first things right away that I think sort of answers that question is we're introducing a chat feature. The chat feature is student to teachers, um, teachers to families, not student to student. It's a safe chat. It was built from the ground up with school in mind. It's safe and it's secure. Um, and it allows teachers and students to have those conversations that they need to. Um, and it really uses a modality that students today are really familiar with. And frankly, most of us are as well. We're used to threaded messages. We have smartphones. And it's really just sort of bringing the platform up to where everybody's expectations already are. Um, you know, webmail has its purpose for, uh, you know, obviously, and, and email for that matter. Um, but chat is one feature really excited about. It. The ability to, you know, have that more instant communication with, with the between students and, and uh, staff. The, the other component that, uh, the chat feature is fantastic. Obviously, you know, there's, um, there's always gonna be phone calls, there's always gonna be an internal email system. I, I assume there's, there's some Correct. level of communication yep. through email. Um, you, you guys talked about making this a relationship management system. Talk about a little bit of the features that you've integrated into EDIO that make that possible and why it or why you feel like it will lead to stronger relationships between staff and students. Yeah, so I think when you think about a relationship, uh, at the end of the day, uh, it really comes down to the quality of the interaction, right? And so when you look at um, uh, some of the features tied to chat and to webmail, um, they're obviously going to facilitate a more, tra I shouldn't say traditional, uh, for, for young folks, a very much more traditional mm -hmm. format that they're used to, mm -hmm. right? And so I think the quality of the interaction can be enhanced when you look at how you utilize the data that a software is capturing to make the system smarter for the person trying to interact with someone else on that system, right? So when you look at, uh, from the teacher perspective, their ability to view threaded messages, but also have right at their fingertips access to uh, truancy information, have access to the, the, the grades of the moment, the, the um, a work that's being done by that student, it gives them a much more rich context from which to facilitate an interaction and a conversation. And so when it comes to a relationship management system, really it's about uh, how do you facilitate a deeper level of relationship by having smart tools that facilitate that interaction.
some of the tools that help facilitate that interaction that Dave's talking about uh, are personalization. So one of the things that CCA recognized right away that was really excited us was the ability for technology to sort of stand in that gap and provide that personalized experience. So we're rolling out with a few features and we have many more planned that include things like students being able to personalize certain aspects of it, um, upload photos of their interests, that type of thing, um, in a safe and secure way. So that gives the teacher and the student a lot more, it gives the teacher, for example, more insight into what really makes, you know, what is that student really interested in? What excites them? And then how could, you know, the school um, environment maybe tailored to that, you know? And I, I think about my own kids and what drives them. And as a parent, you know, when I want to encourage them to do something, if it's aligned with their interests, then they're super passionate about it and excited about it whereas if it has nothing to do or they don't have a, an easy way to approach it it's harder so we're hoping that some of those personalization aspects allow for that you know communication channel and really encourage personalization for the students and we got Alan's phone going off in the middle of this thing we'll be able to edit that out Alan don't worry I might leave it in um, <laughs> you know the the some of the what, as you've kind of introduced slowly but surely uh, components of the EDIO program, what are, what are some of the feedback that you're getting from those individuals, individuals who have seen EDIO and been able to kind of um, get an idea of what the system is going to allow them to do or, or, or enhance what they're already doing with the current program? Yeah, so that's a lot of the, the post notes that are surrounding us right now are the feedback from staff and from families and folks who I think on one hand, it, it's two things, right? It's one, we've shown some of the features that were directly based on the feedback we received and we get a lot of little thank you post-its. We've got a little collection in the corner that's just like, I'm so excited, this is gonna be awesome, you know, and like, I can't believe this feature's there, that people are gonna love this, you know. And then there's additional feedback, just, you know, once, you know, you, you don't know what you don't know. So once you start to see the platform and you start to see what it can do then you have new ideas and so people come to us and say well what if you know it could do this you know and and or or you know if there was a minor tweak to it it would make everyone's lives easier and so we've tried to incorporate through our build process any of that and all of that that we can as we go forward so uh, I'm thinking I'm trying to think right now of some specifics that would be really good ones um, to bring up but I think that a lot of it has to do with just again you know if you're a teacher understanding and being and having super easy access to all that information so that you can you know communicate with students and you can do that and you spend less time from a teacher's perspective trying to keep tabs on everything and, and have the software help you with that so you can just be that person who's interacting with students and teaching and doing the thing you love to do on the family side it's not too different I suppose you want the technology to sort of fade away and you want it to be about the communication the experience and the learning and so we're hoping that we've achieved that you know, I'll add on to that, though, that uh, we're going to launch version one uh, when it comes to this, this new school year here in September, but uh, we already have a tremendous number of features that are going to come into version two. And so when we launch uh, for the school year, I think it's important that uh, our, our families understand that we're going to continue to iterate and roll out new features as we go forward. So this is not a, we roll out the system and we walk away. This is a, uh, a continued evolution. We're going to learn a tremendous, a tremendous amount. Uh, as we launch this product and continue to get feedback. So I think it's important that, uh, you know, that we look at this change and realize that with any change, uh, there's the fear of the unknown, right? There's a lot of, uh, a lot of features and functionality in this that, uh, that could make people nervous if they're worried just about how it's going to be different than what they're used to. Uh, we've done our best to make it feel somewhat familiar and make it uh, something that will not be too big of an adjustment on that end. But I think that um, in addition, it's going to be very important that we hear from families as we roll this out and continue to incorporate that feedback into the evolution. Yeah, I think it's great that you guys are kind of sensitive to the fact that this is a change. Yeah. Um, and you, you kind of, from the conversations that we've had just in the room here before, uh, before we started recording and also, you know, just some interactions that we had, um, you know, through the different trainings and stuff, it, it you guys really seem to have a, a finger on the pulse of understanding that this is this is huge it is it is not a this is not a little thing you're changing the learning management system um, and and you've done a great job in my opinion you've done a great job of kind of 
making it not too big of a change to where you know you'll see similar features you'll see some of the things that worked in the old program mm -hmm. um, incorporated into the new but also these great new <coughs> exciting things and tools that families can use to uh, further enhance mm -hmm. the learning experience of the student and that is what I I really appreciate is that this has been done with a focus on the family and students it has it is there's it's really been about what is best for the people who we serve. And that is what I appreciate as a staff member because that is, that is our job. Our job is to serve. And so I, I just appreciate that. And I can see when I, you know, when I've been introduced to Edio and, and seen some of the features, I can, I can see that that attention was there mm -hmm. and that you, that, that you as a team have listened and have taken all the information in and have used it in a constructive way um, and maybe sometimes that's not always the case with with other you know with other companies or other other people you know other businesses that do these types of things I think that you really w paid a lot of attention to the needs of our families um, and what what is best for the families and I, so I appreciate that and thank you for it so no I, you know it's it's um, and culture the name uh, originated from this idea that uh, uh, change and impact was going to be felt um, through culture. And so we, we actually came up with the name originally because uh, we, we were tired of culture kind of being at the end of the sentence when it came to the importance of it. And so we decided to move the, the and culture at the end of the sentence to the front of the sentence and make it the, the important part. And I think in designing and developing solutions over the years, uh, Evan mentioned it earlier, that, you know, the job is to make the technology, leverage the technology to create impact while removing the technology as much as you can and uh, from that perspective it's all about uh, mm -hmm. and this is why we're an experience design firm it's about creating an experience that ties uh, humans together with as little technology being felt as possible I, I got to tell you a little funny story so when <laughs> talking about the name of the company mm -hmm. I thought when I originally heard it it was an a n n e mm -hmm. culture that was developing this program and I'm like they got this they have this Ann culture who's who's designing and developing this new learning management she system is amazing. and she is incredible is, she is unreal and I'm like and then I, they're like no no it's and a n d I'm like oh well, that makes more sense like it's, it's this big corporate you know it's this big company that's doing this it's not just this one one person sitting at a desk designing this whole thing. So that's just a funny story. People did call it Ann Coulter for a while, and we had some <laughs> issues with that too. So I, I'm not going to lie. That is what I initially thought it was. Did when you? I first heard. I thought the same thing. I was like, Ann, Ann Coulter. Coulter. She's involved that's, in. Uh, that's not at all. What? <laughs> she, she designs software? That's right. Like, that's right. What? <laughs> um, no, but, no. But, but adding on to this, I also really appreciate the aesthetics of of Edio as well mm -hmm. just from the I've been to multiple sessions when you guys were touring the different sites uh, mm -hmm. in the state mm -hmm. and I really am excited to see families reactions to the mm -hmm. aesthetic of it because mm -hmm. um, I think features and being in point on that is the, is the core of what makes this such an efficient system but also the presentation and aesthetics of it and just seeing how it's presented as well as seeing the notes that you're taking them thinking yeah this is what a lot of students in a online setting that's the sort of stuff that they would be mm. looking for or mm. even seeing one of my biggest things is man there's a lot of features on here that look like like a component like a social media site or something like that mm. so on top of having features that enhance the relationship you also have this presentation mm. that also is more welcoming and less rigid you know more rounded and less more of a sharp corner mm. um, so I just want to commend the design so far mm. for Edio and I'm really excited for what we have to look forward with and I'm excited to see the kids reaction to it at least the high school kids that I work with at the center I'm excited to see their reactions to it saying Mr. Fernandez I sent you a, an I am wait what? what oh no hold on a second that's right <laughs> yeah no thank you we're, we're super excited to roll it out I think that I think that it'll be well received well and it's nice too because like it, it, it is one program but it's the display you can personalize the, the way that you see and interact with it in a way that fits because not, not our families are all cookie cutters. I mean, every family is unique and different in its own way. We have families from a, a vast uh, diversity of backgrounds and race and ethnicity and socioeconomic levels. And I mean, there's just a broad, it's a broad stroke of, of folks that enroll with our school and all for different reasons. And when they can see the me and the we, which mm -hmm. they will in this program, 
it, it, it allows them to feel like they're part of a, a, a community that is, you know, over 9,000 students strong, which is, it's amazing to be part of that. And you get to have access to people um, that will provide opportunities for you that if you are geographically defined, mm-hmm. like in a brick and mortar setting, you may not have had that. Yeah, absolutely. And so it's great that you've incorporated that. Yeah, absolutely. I hope we, I hope that the features and the design and what we're building helps to celebrate that diversity because I think it's what makes CCA and, and communities like that so powerful. So hopefully it continues to reinforce that, like you said, the, you know, the me and we that they'll see of themselves in it. And as opposed to, hey, you be different, you know, be somebody you're not, you know. So hopefully that personalization is, is a super positive and people can really, you know, rally behind that. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much again for allowing us to come here. It has been an absolute pleasure. Um, and I know for sure that our listeners will be very excited to hear from those that are behind the scenes to see the, the history behind this and what's happening now and what will happen in the future. So uh, we definitely thank you guys so much, and we are super excited, um, especially as the EDIO training start rolling out over the summer. We'll be very excited to be in person with the families and see their reactions to actually getting their hands on EDIO and navigating through it as you prepare for the big launch. Hey, the pleasure was ours and we look forward to the continued progress of the tooling uh, after launch as well and, and look to, forward to meeting a lot of the, more families and students as well. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you, guys. If you'd like to learn more about the EDIO program, please check out our blog at www.ccaeducate.me and remember, we are CCA. CCA.